London, England is home to Buckingham Palace, the Natural History Museum, delicious fish and chips, and of course, the royal family. Not only is the city beautiful, have people with sweet British accents left and right, it's home to Rick from The Walking Dead, Doctor Strange, Batman, and most importantly, Nanny McPhee. The royal family has long been huge fans of college football and demanded to have London's own college football program. They didn't want to piss off an ally, so the NCAA had to oblige and let London have their own college football program. Sadly, the team isn't looking great, everyone's trying to be the team's kicker, so it's no surprise that the program is starting out as a 55 overall. The Monarchs are also going to start as an independent, but once we win 10 games, we'll join the ACC. Since the program just got created, every single player is going to be a walk-on senior. Finally, for recruiting, we can't recruit any four or five star players until we join the ACC. London needed a fearless head coach who wasn't afraid of this tall task, so they went ahead and hired coach Ollie Maximilian, who's been England's rugby coach for the past decade. Even with an entire country counting on him, coach Maximilian feels confidently he can win London a national title and dedicate the trophy to Queen Elizabeth. Rest in peace, my queen. Two and ten for the Brits. I don't know if like Brits is what they call people in London. I'm not, yeah, I'm not culturally sound. You guys know that though, probably already, but two and ten, not very good. Okay, we, we expected that. I'm just shocked we won two games. Kind of nice. Who did we beat? Oh, Nickel State. I mean, I scheduled as many FCS schools as I possibly could. We didn't really have any close games with the FBS schools except for Colorado State. That was somewhat close. We also beat North Dakota State. They're pretty good FCS school. I'll take that, but yeah, man, it was not good outside of those two games. We sucked. For recruiting, we picked up some really good players. Now, these guys have to take the long flight over to London, but I'm sure they'll love it, even though people say the city's a dump. I personally never been there. I just know that it has that scary thing. Nah, never mind. I just looked it up. The catacombs is in Paris, not in Britain. I'm not very good with my, like, geography on the eastern part of the people over there, so yeah, I fudged that up. And every single guy is gonna be graduated, as you guys already know. I mean, I'm sure some of these guys will become royal guards, and they're not allowed to talk to people. I don't know how people go through that. That's just, ugh, I could not stay styling. Like, what if you have to sneeze or something? I don't know how that stuff works, but either way, there's a lot of guys leaving. We have to replace a ton, as you guys know. It's part of the challenge, so I think it's pretty exciting for Coach Maximilian. We'll have some cool walk-ons, maybe. We'll see what happens. Oh, dear. I thought there'd be a lot more guys that would want to come to London. I thought we could, like, 10 or 12. I only got two. I mean, both these guys are okay players, but they're nothing spectacular, dude. It's definitely disappointing. Signing day is here, and I'll be honest, I think I outsmarted and finessed the system. 5,000 points for Hansel Brown. I really want to get this guy. Highest overall that's left on the board. And then for these four guys down here, we have leads for him. So I think if we can get all four of these guys, now these guys that I didn't go after, we don't have leads for. So I feel like the strategy is pretty clear. Like I said, I feel like I'm finessing the system. We'll see how it goes, but I feel fairly confident we're gonna get all five guys. So we'll see what happens. How did it go? Oh gosh. Okay, we got Hansel. Uh, we got one, two, that's it. So we went three for five. Uh, man, that's definitely underwhelming. I thought that I outsmarted the system. I, I guess I did not. In Espanol, they would call this class Moy Pequeño. Now in Great Britain, I think they speak English over there, so they call this class small. Yeah, I don't know what uh, British slang is for small though, but either way, dude, this class is, it's pretty decent. It's just, like I said, Moy Pequeño. Oki Kaliakia, I think it's how you say that, from Wailuku, Hawaii. Either way, I don't know how far away Hawaii is from London, but it's gotta be a couple light years, dude. I don't understand how coach maximilian was able to fly over there with our budget but he made it happen dude niall mccray nicholas dixon eli floyd hansel brown there's a lot of good players like these guys are decent like they'll be good players in a couple years it's just we only signed 13 guys and we have to replace our entire roster this year so yeah it's gonna be very very bad next year 63rd class in the country it's definitely a high rated recruiting class now the thing is though most of these guys are walk-ons because i did not sign 23 three stars that's for sure so i'm crossing my fingers that uh, queen elizabeth can like send an angel to earth and make us get some extra three-star walk-ons that are really good like that'd be nice of her because uh we need it dude that's for sure feast your eyes on an absolutely brutal football team this team is god awful dude oh my gosh the team last year was bad but this team makes last year's team look like the avengers dude oh gosh it's bad and we had the exact same record as last year i thought we'd be a little bit worse but it looks like our defense carried our offense was just not very good but yeah two wins man it's not much but it's better than nothing i would be puzzled if we beat an f FBS school now. We beat the Sid, now we lost to 1 and 11 Akron. Their one win was against us, and then we beat North Dakota State again. So we started 2 and 2, but yeah, the rest of the games we lost. We almost beat Tulane, only lost by 3, but yeah, every other game was a blowout besides that. Just, you know, it's kind of what I expected. I mean, we're not great, so. 
Yeah, we suck. For the commits early on in the class, yeah, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. We only have five, which it's pretty disappointing. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought that it'd be a lot better, but I mean, Coach Maximilian, he's trying his best, but it's hard to convince these guys to fly overseas and come to London, even though it's a beautiful city. I don't get it, dude, but I mean, there's some good players. Got two good quarterbacks. D. Henderson's pretty solid, and like the guys that are left on our board, we have a pretty good lead for most of them. So if we can just get most of these guys to commit on signing day, it should be a really solid class. So we'll see what happens. I don't know how we have guys graduate i thought that you know all these guys were graduating last year i don't know if the cpu like registered them last year i don't really know but yeah these guys are off doing things in life so maybe one of them will become the next hugh grant i really don't know but yeah best of luck to you guys no one's transferring here am i missing something dude is like london not that cool i feel like it's a pretty hip place to be apparently not i mean i'd want to go to london i feel like it'd be pretty fun i don't know who'd pass up the opportunity to develop a british accent it's easily the best accent in the world so that doesn't make any sense last year's sunny day did not go to plan so this this year i'm trying to be a little bit more tactical i guess i mean i'm spreading around my points a lot more just to put like more eggs in the basket i don't know if that's a phrase that actually makes sense but just know that i'm trying to give myself a better opportunity to get more guys because we're leaning for every single person i'm putting points into but i'm putting at least a thousand to every single one of them so i'm really hopeful but we'll see what happens come on let coach maximilian get lucky his name's ollie oh my gosh we got every single person we wanted except for two we did not go after jalen and we went after amara but we got everybody else dude yes this is exactly what we need to do let's go and this is the class man only 11 humans not as many as i was hoping clearly but i mean combine this class with the class last year it's 24 guys on the roster that are actually somewhat decent which you know it might not sound that great because it's not that great but it's better than it could be so that's the bright side d henderson's pretty good from okeechobee florida that's a cool city name uh, grant summers quarterback boston chapman nice little one-two punch right here these two guys will be really really good quarterbacks for the future also kwame ochipinti i think it's how you say that jacoby and kutler uh, dallas fowler i mean we were critical receiver really well this cycle which is nice 56 what wow. oh it's we got a four star we're gonna have to cut that i don't know who that guy is we're gonna have to cut him though d carts of samuels it sucks we're gonna have to cut that guy but we will we do have some walk-ons kind of like last year's class but yeah i don't know i thought there'd be a little bit more interest in people wanting to go overseas to another country maybe they don't have their visas or something i don't really know how the whole like traveling thing works but either way i feel like we're going in the right direction i told you we'd get some good walk-ons man it's had a feeling dejan wilson and colleen Nemo Calanilioli? I think that's close somewhat. But these guys probably watch Notting Hill and they just could not pass up the opportunity to come to London. I don't blame them. Trading results have arrived and oh my god, the team is still really, really bad. You know, the good news is that we're really young and like we can only get better. We really cannot get worse than what's happened in the last two years. It's hard for that to possibly happen. So yeah, the team's definitely better, which is nice. Grant Summers gonna be the quarterback this year. It kind of sucks that we recruited two good quarterbacks in the same class, but I hope that what happens is grant is gonna be our starter for four years and then once boston's a redshirt senior then he'll start there we'll see what happens but it sucks that we got both these guys in the same recruiting class there's no doubt about that two and five to start so we already matched the same win totals the last two years so we're definitely going in the right direction we're up to a 67 overall the defense is a little bit better than the offense but our points for and points against isn't like that far apart so we've been okay this year did we beat an fbs school yet uh no we lost to Arkansas State, who is 1-5. We lost to New Mexico, who is 1-5. Oh, great, man. Yeah, so our, both of our wins are FCS schools. Still have yet to beat an FBS team. Very, very sad. At least recruiting's gotten off to a good start. We already have five commits, and every single one is a 70-plus overall. Now, three of them are JUCOs, which is pretty unfortunate because I'd rather them be freshmen, but they're still good players. I'll take them. Got a home game this week against Louisiana Monroe. I looked at their overall, and they're actually a lot better than I thought they'd be, so I'm not anticipating much of a game, but hey, if we can keep it close, that'd be cool. And for this game against Louisiana Monroe, we have, like, a lot of people visiting, so if we can go out there and just somehow pull off a miraculous upset i am pretty positive some of these guys will commit so can we please do that uh, of course man they're already down at the goal line we need a defense to clamp up right here but i doubt it'll happen i'm using the guy with a star under him hopefully he makes a star play come on heinz do some cool or ma i'm so bad at this game i'm sorry heinz i made you look ridiculous in open space that's on me dude goodness gracious i'm awful we can actually tie the game right here i think they fumbled or something i don't care dude we gotta take full advantage of this seven Somebody get open. Triangle? Slant? Slant, let's go! Nice catch, Logan Lemke! Yeah, buddy! Out of way, stud! Down seven in the fourth quarter. At least it's somewhat close, but we need to get a stop right here because there's no chance our offense is going to get two touchdowns to tie this game. So, yeah, we need to step up right here, defense. All right, defense, they're passing. 
There's nobody open. Tackle the quarterback. He's right. I don't know what else was doing right there, dude. He was just a lost puppy in the middle of the road and nobody would adopt him. God dang it, dude. We lost. Finish 4 and 8. You know, it's that much, but we are going in the right direction. So I will take that for progress. Better points for it. We actually crossed the 200 points for scored barrier. I did not expect that to happen this year. So that's a W in my book. Lost to Central Arkansas, which is that. Cr oh, we beat Navy. Let's go. Lost to Miami of Ohio, but we did beat UAB. So we beat two FBS schools this year, man. We're going in the right direction, guys. I'm telling you. Coach Max a million has a vision. We just gotta see it. Let's go, dude. On the recruiting side of things, Paul Coleman's the only guy left on the recruiting board, so we should be able to give him the offseason. We'll put all 10,000 points into him, but Jeff Jones, he went to Toledo, which makes uh, Coach Ollie Maximilian very, very sad. This guy was a really, really good recruit, so yeah, that's definitely unfortunate. The good news is, though, that we picked up some new commits in the class. This is probably, yeah, I'd say it's for sure gonna be the best recruiting class we've had so far in this video, I think. I think it's pretty close, but I think, it, yeah, I think it gets the job done. We really needed offensive linemen, and we picked up a few of them here. I mean, none of these guys are that stellar, but they're better than what we have right now. So I'm happy what we did on the trail. I think we did a decent job. We convinced Nelson Knox not to transfer, but we promised him some things that he definitely will not be able to accomplish. So I'm sure he'll be in the portal next year. But Logan Lemke's also graduating. But all in all, a lot of the team next year is going to be back. So we should be better. Finally, man, this is what I've been waiting for. Oh, wait. Uh, no. E I mean, these guys are okay, I guess. I was really excited as soon as I saw the transfers on the screen, but these guys are not that that high of overall, but I mean, we'll take them, I guess. They're not that great, but they're okay. 123 in class, the country. I expected this. We didn't really have that many guys walk on because there's not that many guys that graduated. So, I mean, the math is, it, it checks out, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the class. And this is the class. You guys have already seen it, so it's not really much new, except for, I think it was Paul Coleman that we picked up on signing day, but besides that, you guys have already seen all these lads. Kevin Holtz from uh, Colonia, New Jersey is pretty solid at tackle. John H. Tomlin from Hawaii. We've been recruiting Hawaii really, really well, man. Chair Carlson, Devin Gibson, Thad Thomas, Brock Allen. Oh my god, this guy's 6'6", 241 is an outside linebacker. Me likey. Landon Plinky. I mean, there's some solid studs here, man. I'm happy with the class. The team this year is definitely a lot better. Now, are we good enough for Prince Charles to show up to the game? I don't know about that, but then again, he was a jerk to Prince Diana, so I don't really know what we're trying to strive for. I think we should just try and get a national title for Queen Elizabeth. I feel like that's a pretty noble thing to do. Make all of London proud. Green Summer's gonna be our quarterback this year. I think the strategy is we're gonna pass like a crap ton. I'm gonna set the settings to like us passing 75% of the time. Even though we have a really good running back room with Nicholas Dixon and D. Henderson, like the future is Grant Summers and Boston Chapman. We need to develop the quarterback room as much as possible. So I think it's gonna be the strategy this year on offense. I think it's pretty smart too. We'll see what happens though. When it comes to defense though, it's no surprise, dude. Their best position is the cornerback room with Dejon Wilson and Kalinimo. Kali Nalioli? Yeah, from Waipolio, Hawaii. These two guys are really good at cornerback. They started as true freshmen. Like, they're going to be studs. Hopefully, they stay all four years. That would help us out a lot. Preseason conference predictions. There's only three teams in our conference, but we're projected to finish below Army, and they're the same overall as us. So, we'll see how things go this year, but the team's definitely a lot better. I think last year, we were like a 65 or 67. So, yeah, we're a lot better. What at what start of the season? 500. I don't think we've ever been 500 so far this video. So, that's nice. Who was the the culprit. We beat Nichols State, but UTSA beat us by 25. I was hoping that game would be a little bit closer, but no, it was a blowout. Early on our recruiting board, I am very, very optimistic about it. I don't want to jinx myself and say that it's going to be the best recruiting class we've had so far in this video, but there's a lot of good players on this board that I actually think that we have a solid shot of getting, so we'll see what transpires, but yeah, man, Coach Maximilian's feeling pretty on top of the world right now. Like, I, I think we can get some of these guys. Playing UTEP this week at home, and we are in stadium because that's her home field and it's somehow raining. I don't know what mother nature is doing. Maybe that's like some of the people in the stadium that are like pouring down buckets of water and making it look like rain, but I feel like that would take a lot of manpower and be very unnecessary. I don't know what's going on. It's just a weird situation. Let's just go out there and win. And for this game, we only have five guys visiting, but Justin Bennett and Miles Woolyard are guys that we really want as well as these three. I mean, we just want these two guys the most though. So if we can win this game and somehow get both these guys to commit, that would be happiness. Oh, bloody hell. We're down 14 in the second quarter. I wish my British accent was better, dude. Dang it. We're down 14. I don't know how we're going to get a stop, but let's hope for the best. Come on, defense. Step up. Don't make me talk in a British accent again. Okay, it's a keeper. What? No, guy. That's so depressing, dude. God dang it. This is rubbish. The things I would do to be able to speak like Hugh Grant. He has, he has the accent I want. Would I give my kidney? It's a good question, because I have two of them, I think, and I don't think that you need both. Huh? 
know. I'd consider it, but I think you can learn a British accent. I don't know. It's a good question. It's a run with the quarterback, and we get the stop. Good job. Okay, I'm shocked we got a stop right there, but either way, they're going to kick this field goal. We're going to be down 31. I don't think there's any chance we're going to win this game. And now, if we block this kick and get a touchdown out of it, I will have hope again, but I doubt that'll happen, and yeah, it's just... As soon as it started to rain inside the stadium, I knew today was not going to be our day. 7-5, to five, man, I'll take it. I mean, I scheduled like four FBS schools. How are we a four-star team prestige? Is that a glitch? Oh, yeah, I was glitch for a second. I got my hopes up dude that freaking trolled me there but yeah we're just a one star team prestige our points for is actually higher than our points again so that's cool beat kent state in overtime that was a good win there beat citadel lost to army which sucks north dakota state we won lost to ladies and tech we did go on a three game winning streak here though and then notre dame they just put us in a casket dude i kind of put that game as like a uh, benchmark to try and see where we're at compared to like a good program and we got clobbered on the trail i told you guys man this would be the best class this video so far and i think it without a doubt is there's a lot of talent here like what is that like 10 or so 70 plus overalls around there i mean it's really good dude the lowest overalls is 69 which is beautiful because it's a great number and also on top of that that means we're getting more quality now dude this everything's coming together beautifully coach maximilian is doing a fabulous job in my opinion figured that would happen sorry about making those promises nelson but hey at least you got redshirted we didn't really waste any eligibility at least i don't think we did but uh, jonathan maldonado is also graduating so is now mccray and d henderson all three were solid players but we should have younger guys replace them in the next couple years it's not really that big of a loss Saturday day has arrived for coach maximilian and we're going after dylan miller because this guy's a monster 83 overall also jonathan newkirk as you guys can tell i really want dylan i want to try and get both these guys but it's i really want to get dylan dude i'd rather get him than get neither of them so that's kind of the strategy here then for the rest of these guys i mean we're leading for some of them but i doubt we'll get many of them if any of them i really couldn't care less as long as we can get these two guys i will be very very happy please 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 where's he at Dylan and Jonathan, let's go, dude. Oh, I cannot tell you guys how important those two are to this team in the future, dude. Oh, that is so good. Let's go. The rest of the guys, though, we didn't get a single one. And I'll be honest, I couldn't care less. We got the two guys that we really, really wanted, dude. This signing day was a big W. You know, man, I called my shot like MJ. I said this would be the best signing class so far this video. And lo and behold, feast your eyes on something beautiful, sexy, marvelous, gorgeous. I'm running out of synonyms. What else is attract? Oh, attractive um ooh, i think i am not never was a big english guy but that's as many synonyms as i can come up with for beautiful because that is what this class is dude it is beautiful dylan miller stud tavandre overstreet stud joshua carmouche stud jonathan newkirk stud and you know what the best part is of all those guys they're all true freshmen not a single juco dude man we hit the mother load this cycle Riker white such a sweet name Riker. justin bennett moritz freel talini Wiedig. i mean oh man there's only one juco in this entire class this this is going to be the future of this program. It is so beautiful, dude. I'm so glad these guys decided to fly across the country over the... Oh, God. What ocean is that? That's the Atlantic Ocean, right? Yeah. So, I'm happy that they made that decision. And this just goes to show how meaningless recruiting rankings are. 100 second class in the country. You serious right now, dude? I guarantee you, if you look at the overalls compared from our class to every other class, we'd be in the top 10. I guarantee it, bro. 14 three stars. One two star. Four one stars. You got some walk-ons. It's whatever, dude. It is what it is. I love our class. It should not be in the triple digits. But, oh, we're also a two-star team prestige now which is nice a new year's here for coach maximilian and this team looks a lot better than team last year i feel like we're doing a good job balancing the offense and the defense though i do think the defense is better than the offense this year like it has been in years past but i'm okay with it because we have a really good quarterback room like grant summers has really good potential he's an 86 overall junior i think next year if we have a really good season with him he could maybe be like a 94 or 95 we'll see what happens but yeah we're gonna pass the ball a lot this year kind of like last year trying to get his stats as good as possible make him improve a lot and on the defensive side, we have a really good pass rush this year. Started with Oki Kalakia. I think we recruited him in the first class of this video. Yeah, we definitely did. And also Dylan Miller. He is starting as a true freshman. This guy is such a good pass rusher, dude. 84 speed, 82 overall. He is so good. It's time to see where this program is going to be in the future. Oh my goodness, man. We're definitely on an upper trajectory. I'm kind of surprised we're only at 24 years from now. Or actually, that'd be three years from now. But yeah, this year we're an 86 overall. This team could make a bowl game this year, guys. We might be able to flirt with like eight or ten wins. We'll see what happens. 
happens, but things are definitely looking good. Pretty eh. Four and four, and Army is somehow eight and no, and they're a lower overall than us. This is what I don't get in this game. I don't know how Army is always a cheat code, but they're just always good in sim. I don't get it, dude, but yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty disappointing. I thought we'd be like, I don't know, like six and two right now, but no, four and four. I mean, the schedule was more challenging this year. We beat Nickel State, Rutgers, lost to Syracuse, San Diego State, got crushed by Virginia Tech, and we lost to Nevada. I mean, I feel like all these losses that we had were winnable games. Now, granted, we did lose to Virginia Tech by 23 and San Diego State by 21, so those were not close at all, but I don't know. When I scheduled all these teams, I thought that maybe we'd be able to beat them, but no, not at all. This week, though, we're playing Iowa, and Mr. Lee Corso was picking them. I really don't blame him. Our offense has just, in our defense, like, we're just eh right now. Like, we don't really do anything special except we pass the ball a lot. We're top 10 there, but everything else just sucks. Never a good sign when Iowa already scores 14 points on your defense in the first half, and we have yet to score two. Things are not going well, man. We need to get seven right here. Is that touch into X, or am I stupid to throw that? Grant? Grant Summers, let's go! Come on, offense. Wake up. Defense, same thing to you. There's no reason Iowa should have 14 points in the first half, man. Still trailing down 10. Things ain't looking great, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I really have a hard time seeing us score two touchdowns in the fourth quarter. But hey, you know what, man? Crazier things have happened in the world. So yeah, of course it goes through. We're down 13. It's not looking good, man. Here we are, guys. It's do or die. We're down 13 in the red zone. We have to convert this fourth down or we're chalked. Simple as that. Chalked. X again! Let's go! Oh, I thought he knocked it out. He didn't! Let's go! Okay, guys, we actually have a somewhat decent chance to win this game. We just need to cover this fourth down, though. I know it's easier said than done, but yeah, it's non-negotiable. X, can I throw that? Are you serious? He kangarooed across the screen, jumping like five feet across like Spider-Man. Oh my gosh. Okay, defense, need you get a stop. Can they actually make this kick? I mean, I know Iowa has great special teams and all that, but like, come on, dude. This is from like India. There's no chance he can make this, right? Please, Shank. There's no way he's the leg for that. Let's go! I told you, man. All right, boys, good seven. Only down five. Let's go get the dub. At the goal line. Come on, Grant. Make a play, man. We're in the hot zone. I don't even know what that means. Just make a play. Axe, not open. Grant, can you run, buddy? Can you run for me, Grant Simmons? Let's go, buddy. All right, guys. Only 10 seconds. Don't choke this, please. Pretty sure this is our true freshman defensive end. He's got another spin move. Spin move. Oh, oh he got it off. Please do not get mossed. Let's go, dude! Yeah. That was such a big W, dude. I did not think we were going to win that game at any point, and we pulled it off, dude. I'm so impressed. Let's go, guys. Great W, man. After the game, we picked up five commits, really good kicker, and three free safeties. Definitely have to move some of those guys around. And then Bobby Dell Robinson, who looks pretty good at receivers. So all in all, dude, it was a really good weekend. That's not going to make the queen proud. Five and seven. We'd even go six and six this year. I know our schedule is harder, guys, but come on. There's no reason we should be five and seven this year we lost the last three games we couldn't win any of these three i mean we played uab georgia southern louisiana tech i get their records are pretty decent but come on we couldn't beat one of those three teams dude Ugh. at least their recruiting class is starting to pick up a little bit charles morrison's a big time pick about a tennessee he's really good you guys know about ben mcdeal robinson he's a 6'5 receiver that's gonna be awesome also joe nordstrom isn't that like a clothing brand so he has his own clothing brand that's cool but yeah man there's a lot of good players here like i don't think this class is as good as one last year but still Still, there's a lot of decent players that'll be really good down the line. That's for sure. Got aid transferred back to Nevada. I don't think that he liked driving on the left side of the road. I don't really blame him. It's pretty confusing to me too, but adios, man. And then for all the guys graduating, there's a decent amount like Nicholas Dick. So like we recruited, I think every single one of these players. So yeah, it's a pretty sad day on that aspect. I mean, all these guys made their commitment to come over to London, fly over uh, the Atlantic Ocean and make a commitment to me. And unfortunately, we could not get a bowl game this year, which would have been really cool, but just did not happen happen. Saturday day's here, so it's the most stressful time of the year for Coach Maximilian. He had to fly across the Atlantic Ocean and the Burrito Triangle and all those scary places to get in contact with Aaron Weldon and also Kyle Nemo Kiehi. The Hawaiish. I mean, we've been recruiting Hawaii really well this video. I hope I can get both these guys because they're absolutely insanely good, but Noah Garcia, Williams, Cade, and Joel were all leading for. Do I think we'll get all three of them? No, but I hope that we do. That would be cool. We got Aaron and Kyle Nemo. Let's 
go yeah and we got key too so that was a nice like cherry on top of the sunday even though i don't like cherries on top of the sunday but noah and joel it sucks to get out of you guys but we got the guys that we really want to do let's go so this is the class it's only a 15 man haul but we have four 80 plus overalls two of them are outside linebackers i mean i think that we did a phenomenal job closing on this class that was as good as the class last year i still don't know i think it might have better quality at the top end but all in all dude this class is phenomenal i'm so happy what we did on the trail i mean this is oh a plus plus coach ollie it's probably not ranked high because that's how it always is ah 68 it's not that low it, well, only one spot away from 69 temple took that from us 18 three stars so we got some uh guys walking on but yeah i'm really stoked with the class dude i, I could not be happier first impressions of the squad this year i would be shocked if we don't make a bull game this year now is it possible that we miss out on one yes now do i hope it happens no because we're going into year six and we have yet to sniff a bowl game so yeah this year i really want to make one guys so let's just go out there and make it happen grant's back at quarterback only a 92 overall pretty underwhelming i'm not gonna lie i thought he'd be a little higher but i mean he's up to 70 speed like he's what a four-year starter now at this point like he's a good quarterback i mean the quarterback room is a very very bright future i think we did a great job recruiting here so either way dude i'm really happy with how it's gone another position group that's pretty solid this year is the defense attacker group now it's very old we got will bledsoe and brandon likely but besides that uh it's not much we need to recruit defensive tackles really, really bad this year. So we got to make that happen, Coach Maximilian, that's for sure. Schedule this year, once again, is not very challenging. But I mean, the schedule last year was very easy and we still you know, only went five and seven. So we'll see what happens, but not a single opponent on this schedule is an FCS school. So all we need to do is just win six games. And if we win six games, we will make a bowl game for once, dude. So guys, just go out there. Please do it. Four, two, we're actually at the top of the independents. I mean, we're at 88 overall, 90 defense. We're a lot better than I thought we would be. I mean, the points for is better than the points against. I just want to try and get to 10 wins this year. Can it happen? Yes. What will happen? I don't know. We'll see. B Western Kentucky Army Akron, who's 501, Western Michigan, but we lost to SMU and Sh Charlotte in back-to-back -back weeks, so we started 4-0, and yeah, last two weeks we've lost, and the defense the last two weeks has been just absolutely abysmal, dude, oh, goodness, we need to try and change that, guys, gotta step up defense, some more good news is recruiting has gotten off to a terrific start, dude, like, this class is looking pretty solid, now, we needed a lot of tight ends, so we already have three tight end commits, we needed some defensive tackles, we got those, like, I don't think the quality of this class is gonna be anything spectacular, but we're hitting all of our team needs, which is basically all I was worried about, we need a defensive lineman, too, and we already got one committed, so I'm pretty happy how things have gone. This week, we're playing UNLV, who is 0-6, 0-5 in the Mountain West, and I looked at their overall. It's like a 74. If we do not obliterate them, I will be disappointed. I'm hoping for a spanking today, boys. I want to make the prince and the king and all those people proud, even though I think the royal family's got some mean people. Like, I don't know how I feel about that Megan chick. I don't know personally, but from what everybody else says, she's not that nice. Either way, Grant, we just eat seven. Circle. Circle, yeah, do it for you, Grant. Do it for you, Grant. Let's go, boys. Up seven, nothing to start. Perfect, guys. We're up 23, making all of London proud. Let's just score again right here. Let's put this game away. It's your time to shine, Grant. Summers. Okay, I, I, I'm kind of scared to throw X. I'm just going to run around. Grant's not the fastest guy in the world, but 70 speed. Got the job done. Let's go, boys. Good W, man. It's exactly what we wanted, and that's what we got. Nine and three, guys. Let's go. Success. Man, we tripled our win to loss ratio. Yeah, because three times three is nine. Yeah, that's math. Uh, 474 points, four so our offense carried our defense was a little, definitely a lackluster that's for sure who did we lose to is my question we beat middle tennessee state louisiana tech lost to houston by 17 but we bounced back and beat stanford and san jose state a big part of that though was great summers he threw for 4,321 yards what were his stats like i'm just kind of curious it uh, looks like boston chapman got some playing time which is cool but grant he's up to a 96 overall 44 touchdowns only nine interceptions dude he threw for 360 yards per game dude we just slayed the rock around he was are good this year that's for sure i'm kind of curious is he in the heisman conversation i mean i'll be honest i doubt it because we're only nine and three we're not even ranked but it would not yeah he's not in the heisman race at all man shoot got miami in the tony the tiger symbol frosted flakes time i don't know i think we should be able to be competitive i would really love if we could pull off the win so we can get the 10 wins and join the acc next year but let's see gotta start strong here guys i want to let miami know that we're gonna be the kings this game because we are kings we're monarchs baby let's go good job dallas fowler hate seeing this dude we're tied at seven and they have the ball inside the 10-yard line. So defense, we need you to step up right here and do something cool. It's a handoff. 
Harrison make the tackle. Dude, I'm so bad at tackling. He just hurtled. I, I'm so bad at defense, man. That's my fault. That definitely should have been like a freaking stop right there. That's on me, guys. Oh my gosh, dude. Bloody hell. We're getting freaking cub stomped, lad. We're down 20 in the third quarter. Things are not going well, dude. Oh, and they're going to hand it off and get a bazillion. Are they actually going to score off? That? Wow. Yeah, today was just not our day, dude. We are definitely not making the uh, city of London proud. That's for sure. Goodness gracious, dude. We got destroyed. Casey's transferring. Another guy that just does not like driving the left side of the road. Like I said, I don't really blame him. That would confuse the ever-living crap out of me. But Grant Summers is going to the first round. Good for you, dude. Also, Dejan Wilson and a Kalinimo. Kalini Lioli. Like, these three guys getting drafted should definitely help out recruiting a ton for us, dude. So that's great. As for the guys graduating, oh, Eli's not going to get drafted? Hmm, shocking. There's some guys on here that were very, very good players for us. So it's definitely a sad day in that aspect. That's for sure. 63 in class for us this year. Up to a three-star team for Steve. 22 three stars that really shocked by there's a lot of depth in this class you guys will see this is the haul for this year i'm really happy with it like i said there's a lot of depth there's not as much like top end talent like i think last year's class we had like 480 plus overalls this year's class not that many but there's a lot of 70 plus overalls so yeah the depth wise i think it's a really really good class abraham's really good six seven offensive tackle 81 overall just a study he's gonna be so good here chase wenning jackson noyes easton rittering thomas snyder jackson kolka i mean all these guys are be good players in the future they just need a little bit of development but yeah man coach ollie maximilian did a great job this year dude it's a really good class the squad this year for coach maximilian looks pretty good i don't think it's as good at the top but i think there's a lot better depth this year yeah oh yeah there's a lot better depth than we had last year i don't think there's any doubt the team this year is better i just want to try and get the 10 wins man so we can move on to the acc because we're definitely good enough to be in the acc i don't think there's any doubt about that boston chapman finally gets his chance to start 90 overall 82 speed we're not going to pass the ball as much as we did with grant because we have a really good running back room with uh, Jacoby and Coulter and also redshirt freshman Aaron Weldon who was like insanely good as a recruit 91 speed 87 speed this guy's 6 foot 250 oh my god yeah we need to run the ball and pass the ball we should be pretty explosive on offense I'm excited for this year man we should be really really good 4-0 undefeated let's go dude I mean we're the same overall as last year the offense is a little bit better we're actually right to 17th in the country let's go dude make a London proud let's go Be Arizona Oregon State Eight overtime Central Arkansas by 28 and then we beat Wyoming so we're off to a really good start this year dude like we're beating some pretty decent teams big time game for us today guys we can prove a lot of people wrong we're playing Florida at home I think they're like a top 10 team they're out of the SEC coach Maximilian this is a big stage man let's just make sure we don't disappoint and for this game against the Gators we have six guys visiting there's a lot of talent here 82 overall 79 76 75 like a lot of athletes and outside linebacker like we just need to try and win this game dude because if we can get all these guys committed that would be a lot of momentum on the trail. That would help us out a ton. We're down seven early. It's okay, though. It's, it's only the first quarter. We still have plenty of time to come back and win this game, guys. It's a keeper. Chapman. 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 Boston. Chapman. Let's go. Tied it up, baby. All up at seven. Let's go. Good job, Boston. Oh, my gosh, guys. We got a lead, dude. We're up seven points. They are inside our red zone, though, which is a little scary, but we just need to get a stopper here, guys. Make it happen. I'll be honest. Fear is striking me. Oh, my God. That was just way too easy, dude. Dang it. Late in the game, we're down seven, but um, I can't tell if we have a chance or not because the clock is kind of confusing me with the math and stuff. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh my, yeah, okay, that's definitely game over now. Man, missed opportunity, dude. I really hope that, like, the royal family was not watching this because uh, I don't want to say it's embarrassing, but it's disappointing. I thought we could win this game. We had a good chance to, and we choked. Dang it. I mean, at least we picked up some commits. Robert Carr, Jake Wojtek, and also Sean Sins. So, I mean, these guys are all three good players. So, I mean, it wasn't that bad of a weekend, I guess. I'm an idiot, dude. I only scheduled 11 games. So, we finished 9-2. and two. We had a chance to go 10-2 and two if I would have scheduled an extra game. I thought I scheduled all 12, I guess not. But, I mean, at least we're top 10. We're ranked 8th in the country. So, we had a really good season this year, which is awesome. Curious who is our other loss. Oh, Texas. That makes sense. They destroyed us, though. We beat Kentucky, Middle Tennessee, State, Auburn. So, we beat two SEC schools, which is nice. Got revenge on Houston, then we ended the season beating Florida Atlantic. As for the recruiting class, there's only two guys left, and we'll probably get them on signing day, so not really worried about that, but for the guys we have committed in the class, it's really good. There's a lot of athletes, so there's a lot of versatility in this class. I think that people in England like chess, so yeah, there's a correlation there. Versatility in chess, because chess pieces do different things. Yeah, that makes sense, but all in all, I'm really happy with the class so far. I think it's going to be really stinking good. In the plot is the 10 seed, taking on 11 
to two Ole Miss, and if we somehow win this game, George is waiting for us. I don't like this avenue for us at all whatsoever. I don't expect us to win any games at all, but we'll see what happens. Up too late in the game. It's snowing. It's all up to us, defense. We need to try and get a stop right here. We're only up two. They cannot get into field goal range, or else we are screwed. It's a good question. Does it snow in England? Please throw a pick. Yes, he threw it! What do we do to my hands? Okay, that is ridiculous, dude. If they get a field goal after that, I'm gonna be pissed. Perfect, it all comes out of this fourth down, guys. Come on, defense. Step up, make a play. Have no fear, guys, have no fear. Have no fear, have no fear! Oh, testicles. That's really bad. Oh, gosh. We got down to the goal line. Second and goal, two seconds left. Who has the clutch gene? Whose parents were clutch? Or maybe it's not genetic or hereditary. Somebody get open, please. Circle! No! Are you serious? The other slit hit him? Oh my god. Look both ways before you cross the street. Oh my god, dude. Players leaving stage. Dylan wants to stay around. I think that London's growing on, dude, which is good to see. But Boston Chapman's gonna get drafted. Good for you, man. Some quarterbacks getting drafted in back-to-back -back drafts. That's good for recruiting. Then for the guys graduating, you know, we did recruit all these guys. So it sucks to say goodbye to all of them. I mean, there's a lot of guys graduating too. Oh, goodness gracious. We're gonna have to replace a lot, man, which sucks. But yeah, you guys did a lot of good things here. I'm curious if these these guys are gonna stay in London or go back to America. I feel like that would be a tough decision. I don't really know. I think I'd stay for the accents and the food, but who knows, dude? Maybe they like America more. Side of day is here, and you know what, dude? I think more people are coming around to the idea of coming to England. Like, there's a lot of good things here. Fish and chips, awesome. Love fish and chips. Thank you guys for creating that England. I mean, honestly, the place just sells itself. Now, getting these guys on campus for a visit, it's pretty challenging. It's also very costly, but the royal family, all they care about is winning a national title, dude. They don't care how much money you have to spend, and you know what, dude? This class is gonna help us out with that. That's for sure. Robert Carr, 6'4", 231 athlete. I think he's a running back, but regardless, this guy's gonna be a stud wherever he plays. Alfonso Rooks. Alfonso, isn't that an English name? I don't know, but it sounds like it. Quatravius Blackman, definitely not an English name. 6'6", 229. Oh my god, that guy's gonna be awesome. D. Morris, Sean Sins. Like, we just have a bunch of athletes, man. Some outside linebackers, some corners. I mean, we did a great job this cycle. I love the class. 73rd class in the country. We're also up to a four-star team prestige man coach maximilian i'm telling you dude that rugby it helped him out like we are getting a lot better man slowly but surely we are moving up in the world it sucks we didn't get the 10 wins this year but that was my fault i'm an idiot okay i blame myself trade results are in and merry mother of sexiness this team is looking beautiful dude oh wow oh, oh wow yeah okay if we do not win 10 games this season i would be shocked this team is actually really good now do i know if we'll win a national title i don't is it gonna be possible i hate to say it you guys might not believe me, but I think we could win a national title this year. Now, will we? I don't know about that, but this team's definitely good enough. Riker White is going to be the quarterback this year. He's not much of an athlete. Uh, he's only got 56 speed. Oh, my God. He is slow, man. Turtle, turtle at full effect. I mean, he's going to be good. His name's Riker, for crying out loud, dude. Like, this guy's going to be a good player. It's just he can't run at all. That's for sure. And he's going to have some options on offense, dude. Aaron Weldon at running back. You got Jonathan Newkirk, Paul Coleman, and then our receiver room's pretty good, too, man. You got Bailey Maggio. More it's Friel, uh, Bamadel Robinson, Robert Carr, who we just recruited. I mean, our offense has got plenty of playmakers, man. So Riker should have a pretty easy job. He's just got to get the ball to these guys because there's a lot of playmakers, man. That's for sure. 10 and 2 this year. Let's go. I would definitely take that because now we're going to officially be actually in a conference that somewhat matters because the independence, it's not even a conference, dude. It's just kind of stupid. But either way, dude, a really good season for us. I'm happy with it. I challenged myself a little bit with the schedule, so I'm kind of just curious who we ended up losing to Nebraska. Oh, we lost it back-to-back -back weeks to Nebraska and UCLA. We didn't have a single ranked win. Oh, dear. Maybe we're a little overrated. Oh, yikes. Yeah, I think we might be. Once again, though, on the recruiting trail, it's phenomenal, dude. I mean, every year we're recruiting about as good as you possibly can because we cannot recruit four or five star recruits, but that's going to change next year, dude. Oh, this guy's name's Paris. If only... Oh, he's 6'8". Mother of God. If only Paris was in England. I just learned that it's actually in uh, France. I thought it was in England. I thought the Eiffel Tower and Paris were like together and stuff. I, I'm not very, like I said, I'm not very culturally sound on that part of the, the world, but yeah. All in all, I'm really happy with the class. Playing Oregon in the first round, I don't really know how to feel. I'm just glad that it's not an SEC team or Georgia in the second round, so maybe we can make a run. We'll see what happens, man, but I think that we have a better team than we did last year by a long shot, so we maybe could make a little underdog story, a little Cinderella run. We'll see. It's time to start El Fuego. I think that means on fire in Espanol. Yeah, that sounds right. I don't like me rolling out to the 
left side. Oh, it doesn't seem to matter. Dude, we have such good weapons on offense, man. Good job, Eddie. I don't know what's going on, but we're playing ridiculously well right now. We're up 14 and we're inside the red zone. Like, I don't know what sort of like sorcery we did pregame, but it's working, dude. I love it. Good old reliable slants. Come on, Riker. Oh, gosh. Get out of there, Riker. It's scary. It's scary over here. It's scary. Let's go, Eddie. He's the, he's the fail safe, dude. Eddie's a stud. Good job, Mr. Nelson. This is exactly what I was hoping for, dude. We're just playing so well today, dude. Up 21 in the fourth quarter. We just need to get a stop right here, and it should be GG's. Oh, they're running the ball. Get him. Good job, man. Let's go. Love the ferociousness. Defensive lineman. Let's go, man. Good stop. That's definitely GG's, man. I'm shocked we dominated like we did, but I'll take it, man. Let's go. We knew it'd be Miami, but after the way that we just played, I honestly feel fairly confident we could win this game and make it to the semis, dude. I think it's possible. We gotta believe. Down 7 early AM, yeah, but I don't think there's a cause for concern. I mean, it sucks that we're trailing, but we can just tie the game right here. We'll be okay. Is Eddie gonna be a touchdown? Oh, yes, yeah, that's a defense lineman. We can throw that all day, every day, baby. I had a feeling, Eddie. Good job, buddy. Okay, then. I don't know what we did, but we have a lead now, too. We're up 41 to 31. Did you see you cover this outside? Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we just need to get a first down. Yeah, that's all we need to do. Just get a first down. I don't know how we did this, but we turned this game around 180, and it's awesome. I love it. Just one first down. That's it. There we go. Good blocking. Good blocking. Let's go. Yeah, baby. That, that's GG's, dude. I told you we'd have a chance, man. We're making a run right now. I freaking love it. Playing TCU in the semis. They upset LSU. Shocker there, but they also upset my Michigan Wolverines last year. So this means war. Feeling good. Come on, Riker. You got a cool name like Riker. That means you're a baller, brother. Oh, yeah, he's a baller. He's a baller. Let's go. Good start, guys. Oh, Bailey, girl name. Oh, man, it's Deja Vu all over again. We're down 10 in the fourth quarter. I don't know why we can't play like how we played against Oregon, but it's not been good, man. We're at the goal line, though. Let's not ever complicate this. I hope it's a give because Riker has like 56 speed. Oh, thank God. Thank you guys for that. That was so stupid. Let's go. Only down three, guys. Defense, we need you to get a stop. Okay, defense, you did your job. Sort of. Okay, we're only down six points, but we need to get in a touchdown right here, and it's not looking too great. Time's not on our side right now. It is not our friend. Ooh. Oh my god, we got sacked. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna lose CCO. Oh my gosh, dude. They're just my freaking kryptonite. God dang it, dude. I thought we'd for sure win this. We convinced four guys not to go to the NFL draft. I mean, these guys are gonna be our best players next year, so I'm very, very happy about that, dude. That's nice. We do have Dylan Miller and Bailey Maggio both going to the NFL, so go make London proud, guys. And then besides that, there's really not that many guys graduating, so if I were to take a guess, I think the team next year will be better, but who knows, dude. I might be wrong, but I think I'm right. We'll see what happens, but it's looking pretty good for next year. 72nd class in the country this year for recruiting 23 stars. We're up to, what, a five-star T prestige? Man, we're moving up in the world. I love it. And this is the class. You guys have already seen most of these guys. There's nothing, like, new or notable at all whatsoever, but there's just a lot of depth and talent in this class. Like, the lowest overall is a 70. Like, they're just a bunch of 72 overall guys. They're gonna be really good in a couple of years. So, yeah, man, I'm really liking what we did on the trail this year. Anthony Gillespie is a stud at running back. We've been recruiting running backs, like, really well the last couple of years. Charles Schmitz, a Juco, Ed Malloy, Malcolm Churchwell. It's so close to Winston Churchill. Oh, that's cool, man. Jeremiah Frederick, Johnston. Uh, I don't even know if that's a whole word. His last name is odd. But yeah, dude, I love the class. Let me tell you, dude, I fancy this team. It's ridiculously good. I think fancy in uh, London means you like something. So yeah, I fancy this team a lot. It is very, very good. Riker White's back at quarterback. I was shocked at how good he was last year for us. Not gonna lie. 99 overall now, 56 B. Like he's not gonna be the fastest guy in the world, but he's a great passer of the football. That's for sure. And no doubt about it, dude, the best running back to it all all of the world. Aaron Weldon, 5'10", 231, 93 speed, 99 overall, and then also Jonathan Newkirk, 97 overall, 89 speed. Like, these two guys, they complement each other perfectly. They're so good. ACC coverage predictions, and we are right at the top, baby cakes. Love to see it. 99 offense. Our offense is definitely under care this year. There's just no doubt about that. The defense is just not nearly as good, but is there anybody else that can really challenge us? Obviously, Clemson, Miami. Is there any 99 overalls? Florida State's pretty good, but yeah, there's really not, like, another 99 overall that I'm pretty scared of, so it should be a successful season. We'll see, though. Started the season at home against Wyoming, and we only won by seven, which is a little concerning, but I mean, at least we're 1-0. Oh, that's good, but yeah, I thought that we'd win by more, that's for sure. This week, though, we're playing Miami. This is our first ACC opponent of this video, so I'm pretty excited for it, man. I know they're pretty good. Didn't we play them last year and beat them? Oh my gosh, we did. That's right. They probably want revenge, so uh, let's not give them that. And we have 16 guys visiting for this game.
game, so yeah, we need to try and leave a good impression. I really hope that like the Royal Guard is there because I think those guys are so sweet. So hopefully they think they're sweet as well. It's an acquired taste if you're going to come to London and play for the Monarchs, man. It's an acquired taste, but I think all these guys would love to learn what being a Monarch is all about because I tell you what, dude, it's awesome. Come on, dude. Coach Maximilian won like 20 rugby championships. He's going for it here. He's got stones. Oh, it's going to be a touchdown too. This is what I'm talking about, dude. Just way too easy, baby. Good job, Chase. Late in the game, very intense situation. We're up seven, which is nice, but they have the ball, so they have a chance to tie right here. Let's not give them that opportunity, guys. Let's get an interception or something cool. Fundamentals right here. Fundamentals. Fundamentals. Gonna sack. Sack him. Fumble. Fumble. Baby, let's go. <laughs> I called my shots, baby. Let's go. Making the royal family proud. Yeah, man. Let's go. That should be GG's because we're already in field goal range, so we can go up 10. Let's go, man. GG's, guys. Great way to end the freaking game. Oh, my gosh. It's so beautiful. Look at all the commitments, dude. All these 80 overalls. Oh, my gosh, dude. I'm telling you. People are starting to see the light. They're starting to see what London's all about. We got some more down here. Oh, my goodness gracious, dude. How many commits is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Oh my goodness, we got 13 out of what, like 15 or 16 guys have visited. They saw it, man. I told you guys, they are London Monarch material. Let's go, dude. Such a W. Oh, we went 11-1, but we're not even in the top of the... Oh, that means we lost to Florida State. Those jerks. Well, I mean, we went 11-1. We're still top four, so that's nice. But sucks we didn't even win our own division. It's not really a big mystery who we lost to. I'm just curious if there were any other close games. Lost them by three. We only beat Syracuse in overtime. But besides those two games, every other game was a blow, except for my... Miami and Virginia Tech. So yeah, I don't really know how to feel. Playing Michigan in the second round. I'm gonna hate this dude. It's like taking down a superhero. Like this is gonna suck, dude. Awesome start, guys. Let's go. We already have seven points and we have a chance to make it a two-score game right here. Oh, I'm just throwing square. I can launch that deep, can't I? Let's go! I, I was shocked. I thought there'd be a defender back there, but he was lost in the sauce. Let's go, Robert Carr. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, guys. We're in a really good spot. We're up 10 points in the fourth quarter. All we need is a first turn right here, and then it should be game over. Riker. Riker. Oh, it's X. Easy. Easy completion. Let's go. I tried to spin. Oh, he was fighting. Good job. I like the effort, but yeah. We're out of the semis, guys. Good W. Next round, we got Alabama. They're 13-1, and they smacked Ohio State, so yeah. This is going to be a challenging game. Oh, this play's got a slant. X. Need it, let's go, dude. Our tight end chase has just been so reliable, man. This entire freaking season, he's been a stud. Things are going pretty well. We're up seven points in the second quarter. We're about to kick this field goal, too. We have a good kicker, so this should go right through. I just need to make sure I don't shank this, because if I do, it's my fault. Come on. Yeah, right up and through. Easy peasy, up 10 and a half. A really good spot. It's the fourth quarter. We're up 13 points. I don't know how we've been doing so good this game, but we have. If we score again right here, I think it's game over. I feel like the big brain move is just passing right here because they're in goal line square. Yep, there it is. I told you, dude. Yep, Chase the stud, man. He's been so good. Keep doing what we're doing, guys, man. We're out of the natty. Let's go, boys. Boy, game. Upset alert. West Virginia beat the Catholics, the little leprechauns. Their team, who was 13. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a big upset, dude. But we're taking on them. I think we can win this game. I feel confident. We got this. I don't know how I feel about this play. It looks kind of cool. Is that going to be a touchdown? Oh, yes, it is, dude. Chase has just been such a stud this entire playoff round. They're like, nobody defends him. I don't get it. Like, guard Chase, or at least tried to. As expected, the offense has done their thing. The defense has struggled a little bit, but I mean, we're tied at 14. Let's just score again right here. Let's get the lead at the half. Triangle. Is that touchdown? Riker, deliver. Voitik. Get in there. Let's go, buddy. Yeah. Love the effort and tenacity. I love it, baby. Up 17 in the fourth quarter. We're balling out once again, dude. Let's score. Get right here. Let's put this game away. I have a weird feeling that X is going to be a touchdown. Just a weird feeling. Nope. Not going to be a touchdown. Circle is though. Circle is though. I caught my shot. Oh, my God. Yeah, baby. Freaking Nostradamus out here. Oh, yeah. I can read mine. Psychic abilities, baby. Let's go. GG's, man. And there we are, Coach Maximilian. We win London, the great country, a national title in college football. Does that mean that I'm the king now or I'm the prince? I don't know if I get, like, inducted into the royal family. I don't know how the whole thing works. But I don't care. Let's go. Yeah. Early on, I was shocked at how good we were. I thought that we'd have a couple winless seasons. But Coach Ollie, he just did not let that happen, man. He was persistent. And eventually, you know, we started pretty slow with, like, winning bowl games. But last year, we won one. And then this year, of course, we win the national title in year nine. I also put Bishop Sycamore in NCAA football. Click the video on the screen to watch that. I think you'll love it.